Welcome back to On the Beat. Isaac here again this week, and I still have with me Patrick Wooten from Richard Swartz and Associates. Great topic coming up this mm -hmm. uh, week, uh, Patrick, is the full coverage insurance myth. Yep. Yeah, so this is, I think, uh, not some, maybe it's something that's exciting for you to talk about, <laughs> and it's exciting for me to maybe learn more about. So first question, what is full coverage? Well, what does it mean to have it? It's the rainbow unicorn of insurance. It doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. there, there is no such thing as calling your agent up and say, give me that full coverage menu. Doesn't happen. Okay. All right. Well, let's dive a little bit more That's into right. the rainbow unicorn. Uh, what is exactly or what could be uh, kind of part of that rainbow unicorn? Yeah. What's what does a full coverage policy look like? So here's what, in Mississippi, you have to have liability coverage, which okay. means... Is that like the base, baseline? That's the base. Okay. You run into me, that means there's a pot of money that I could go after from your insurance company. Okay. That's all that you're required to carry in the state of Mississippi, okay. is liability coverage. Okay. But there are so many other things. There's comprehensive, collision, uninsured motorist, towing, rental reimbursement, Dis, you know, wage loss, disability. I mean, there are a cornucopia of coverages that you can pay for in either state. The more you add to your policy, the more expensive your policy gets. Right, but the more full yep. the, the policy becomes if you do add all these things. One of those, uh, obviously, probably super important, uh, all of them are, but uninsured motorists. So would, would you advise someone to add that to their policy. Absolutely. Unfortunately, yeah. Mississippi battles the state of Florida for being the most uninsured state when it comes to drivers. Okay, well that's not that's not a good thing to be number 50. <laughs> no, or 49. Not, that's either, right. right. Not at all. <laughs> okay. So you absolutely want uninsured motorists cuz in my example is if Bob runs into me and doesn't have liability coverage, if I don't have uninsured motorist coverage, I have no source of recovery for that You're accident. out the money or whatever, however much it I'm takes. I'm out everything. Okay. Exactly. So uninsured motorist protects you from somebody who doesn't have insurance. Gotcha. And that and does that does the scope of, of the accident matter um, or whether he just barely hits you or if it's like a total you know thing, does it matter or does it cover everything? Yeah, it covers that. As long as you're not at fault, if the person who's at fault does not have insurance and you have uninsured motors, you're going to be protected. Your car can be fixed. You're, you, know, you can be reimbursed for medical bills, pain and suffering, lost wages, all those components of a claim. Okay, so once you've decided now maybe you at home have, maybe I need to get this, mm -hmm. uh, can you edit your policy you know, before it's up every year? Yes, okay. great question. You can go in, either go to your agent's office or online. It's amazing with all technology now. You can adjust and, and play with your coverages on a daily basis to figure out. So you absolutely need to look at your policy really twice a year to see what you have, how much coverage do you have. Mm -hmm. um, it's really important to carry as much in liability and uninsured motorist as you can afford. Sure. The more is the better. Sure. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Get in there. You need to look at it today. Okay. Yeah, that's good advice. And then kind of gets us into our last question. Um, what types of coverages, you know, maybe you don't want the whole unicorn rainbow as you <laughs> yeah. called it, uh, but besides uninsured motorists and yeah. liability, you know, is there anything else you would recommend? Yeah, absolutely. Liability you have to have. Sure. Uninsured motorist is vitally important. Collisions important. What if you're in a wreck and, and you know, a tree falls, some, you know, random thing, then you have collision coverage out there. Comprehensive is great. Fire, theft, um, tornado, things of those natures come through. So those four are vitally important. And then sure. you can then look at your budget and determine, is there medical payment coverage, which is kind of like having health insurance on your car. That's sure. something that could be viable or towing. You know, okay. your engine blows up, it's got to be towed. Well, boom, there you go. You have towing coverage to help get you towed to the dealership to get your car Yeah, and if your engine's out, then you're probably going to need a rental car. That's right. right. That's Hold something to it. think about yes. there as well. Well, this is some great information. Wish we could spend more time, yeah. but running out this particular <laughs> segment, but we'll see you next time, Patrick. We sure appreciate it. And if you need any additional information or have any additional questions, the uh, listed information is on the website. We'll be right back.